the recognition of heroism for Majeska Simpkins in the Civil Rights Movement. Majeska Simpkins saw the need for change and took many risks, but deserves more recognition than just being a single face in a crowd among great civil rights leaders. Majeska had to deny the risk and just do it. She is well known for her work in the court case, Briggs vs. Elliot, but was in an upstander before that. She worked in the tuberculosis center as head of Negro work and later earned a high role in the NAACP. All this came with a price for Majeska Simpkins, as she was fired from the tuberculosis center for her work with the NAACP and civil rights movement. Then she was kicked out of the NAACP for attracting too much attention. She was accused by the FBI for subversive activity, and after that her house was shot at, but nobody was hurt. This is a hero, not just a face in the crowd. She was a hero before the civil rights movement, which set her up for greatness when the civil rights movement started. She was the director of Negro work for the tuberculosis center and loved her job until she was fired after being caught as part of the NAACP. The African American Registry website talks about her work with the NAACP and how it caused her to lose her job. This website tells of her risk that she takes when working with the NAACP and the effects of working with them and how it caused threats to her personal life. After she was fired, she took more interest in the NAACP and the civil rights movement as a whole. Working with the NAACP is a risk for Majeska Simpkins' family and her life at whole. Majeska never had to work with the NAACP, but she didn't change the world, but took threats on her life and her family's. The African American Registry talks about how three shots were fired into her home, but luckily no one was hit and the family lived. She knew that working with the NAACP had many risks, and she accepted them as she worked in a high role in the NAACP. She never had to work with the NAACP, but she wanted to change and accepted the risk, and ended up helping in the court case, Briggs vs. Elliot. She is a hero for taking the risk of being killed for helping write the declaration of lawsuit for the case, Briggs vs. Elliot, but she still did, which makes her a hero. The lawsuit was a big case that many people thought they would lose, but they still took the case and ended up winning, but at what cost? The website Briggs vs. Elliot.gov talks about how many of the parents only wanted a bus for their children, the few joined to desegregate schools, and that few did want something bigger. But Jessica Simpkins was one of those few parents that helped fight, and she took a big role by helping write the Declaration of Lawsuit, lawsuit for them. Again, she did not have to, but she still did, because it was what she believed in. Some say a hero needs to risk their lives to help others. Nevertheless, she did. She put her life in risk to fix what she thought was needed. Shots were fired at her home when she never harmed anyone. She could have gave up, but she didn't. She ended up helping to desegregate school and a leader of the NAACP. As I said in the beginning of my presentation, I still think Majeska Simpkins is a hero due to her odds that she overcame. Due to her work with the NAACP, the tuberculosis center, and the case Briggs vs. Elliot, I do think she is a hero and should be recognized more than just a face in the crowd. So Majeska Simpkins does deserve the title hero and always will due to her great work and the risk it took to do it. She saw an image of a greater future and earned the highest honor in South Carolina, the Order of the Palmetto.